Good morning and welcome back. I'm Jen Dalton. I'm Bob Herzog. Thanks for being here on Arc Cincinnati. Yes, so the Beachmont players will open the curtains to a new show this Friday. Yeah, Moonlight Magnolias is loosely based on how the movie Gone with the Wind was written. Three men locked in a room with Hollywood stars calling nonstop over the course of five breakneck days. And director Laura Berkemeyer and actor Ron Mason join us now to tell us all about the show. So we spent a large part of that commercial break just going, whoa, 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 this kind of really happened? It did. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, of course, a farcical take on real events. Um, but yes, David O. Selznick was the real producer of this show. And the book, of course, was a very popular book at the time, mm -hmm. Margaret yeah. Mitchell's novel. And so he secured the rights, knew that this was going to be a bigger than life production, starts filming and realizes, no, this isn't working. We got to stop. Mm -hmm. We got to start over. And so he enlists his friend, a screenwriter, Ben Hecht, and uh, actually pulls Victor Fleming, the director of Wizard of Oz off of that project and puts them on Gone with the Wind. Come over here. Right? Yes. And wow. so he locks them all in a room for five days while they rewrite the script. Oh my gosh. Never knew. I never knew. Never this is knew. fascinating. <laughs> and so, Ron, you play the role. Yes. Um, you've played this role actually before, yes. I was going to say, in different theaters. So yes. tell us about the role that you're playing and how it's different in this show, or are you bringing a different pro approach to this show? Yeah, so there's a, there's a lot of similarities. And I, I played the role about 13 years ago with uh, Fairfield Footlighters. And there are still some things that I, I remember from the show that I did that I kind of brought into the audition. And there were some things that, that Laura appreciated. And there were some other things that she said, you know what, why don't we try it this way? And it's like, I never really thought about doing it that way. But it works. And that's, <clears throat> excuse me, one of the great things with working with Laura is that she allows you to be creative with your with your character and it just takes having an open mind to you know be willing to do something different. And he's humble, but he came in off book basically at oh, first rehearsal. That's awfully nice. So oh. not intimidating at all to the other two actors you know, he's working with. So that means just for people who may not know, he, he did not have to hold a script, like he was already memorized wow. and done. Like or yeah. done with the memorizing yes. part. Yes. And, and I wow. remember a lot of the lines from thirteen years ago what? and the only way that happens is if I'm just kind of randomly going through the lines over that number of years. And there, there have been times where my wife would say, hey, are you still with me? And I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, still, I'm, I'm 13 years back, just still going over lines from, from when Ron, I I don't was. remember what happened 13 minutes ago. Right, I know. Uh, so that's, uh, that's pretty good. So, so, so Laura, for you, what, what, what's, the, what's sort of the, your favorite part about, about the show? Is it, is it that it's based on something that's real? Or is it that you could take sort of a farcical look at a real thing? So I really love comedy. Farces are really my favorite brand of comedy and this is actually blending both the farcical comedy with some really like heavy subject matter if you think about it 1939 we're about to go into World War II and two of the three you know male characters in this in this show are, are, are Jewish men working in Hollywood wow. and so you can imagine mm. sort of this this looming cloud as, as they're doing this production with the undertones of you know racial um, inequalities in Gone with the Wind as well. So it all blends together. So we've got these moments where they're having real conversations, but then that's balanced with ridiculous comedy and you know a fight scene where they're slapping each other and getting all of their energy <laughs> out because they've been locked in a room for five days together. So um, for me, I really just love that it's based in reality. 1939, huge year for movies, Gone with the Wind and Wizard of Oz. I actually directed Wizard of Oz at this same theater uh, back in 2016. So oh, it's sort of too. full circle for me. Yeah. And they connect so well together. And just getting the opportunity to work with a small cast and really you know, get these wonderful actors. I mean, they're all so good. I mean, Ron, I can't even talk about because- I was gonna say, can you tell us more about the, your, the cast that you yes. work with? So three men and one woman. So we've got Ron, who plays David O. Selznick. We have Mark Metzner, who's a very dear friend of mine probably 20 years, who um, is playing Ben Hecht, the writer, and then Keith Cassidy, who is playing Victor Fleming. Keith is actually a professor at uh, SCPA, yeah. and so he knows theater very well. He did our fight scene for us. And then Lisa White is our secretary, Miss Poppingool, and so she comes in and out sort of throughout the chaos mm -hmm. and adds a really Ms. fun Miss Poppingool? <laughs> yes. Okay, yes. name alone. Yeah. We've researched that some work too, there. and I think it's based on a real character. There's a real Miss Poppingool? Yes, I know, I know. So <laughs> I love that. We don't know her first name. We we don't know her first name. I think yeah. I like to think of her as Gladys. I don't know why. Gladys. Gladys. Right. She seems Gladys. like Gladys. Gladys. So, oh, that like seems right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> when you're on stage and you have such a a, a small cast, do you do you do you carry a certain amount of pressure when you when you know there's not a whole lot of other folks you know you can lean on you really have to have that trust with one another does yeah. it, do you take that on the stage with you yeah absolutely yeah. I, I think it's really important to be able to trust your scene partners yeah and like Laura said everyone here is they, they've done this before so we're not 
we're not newbies. We're, we're kind of seasoned vets at this. And there's been times where, you know, maybe some lines get dropped, which is common in, no, in no, theater. No, that doesn't happen. <laughs> yeah, never. <laughs> yeah, never. But, but there's a trust that's built to where we can take care of each other on stage. Mm -hmm. yeah. Great. All right, well, give us the details of when people you open this weekend, right? We open on Friday, yes. So we're in Tech Week right now. <laughs> with, with a oh, sigh that yeah. every director during Tech Week does. Yes, yes, yes especially okay. when you're asked to come in and do an interview nice yeah. and early in the morning, morning during Tech yeah, Week. You know, but thank you for having us, so really. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, so we're in Tech Week. So uh, we open Friday, and we close August 10th. So we've got uh, six performances, three each weekend. Please check it out. Um, you can find more information on the website, www.beachmontplayers.org. Mm -hmm. And just, just where, where do Beachmont Players shows? They're in Anderson. They're at the Anderson Center on Five Mile Road. Okay. That's a nice center, too. Yeah. It is. It's a good place to see yeah. show. Thank you both for coming in. Thank, yeah. you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 13 years later, you're going to nail it. All right. Sure, you can stop watching, but let's be honest, you want to know more. Tap the links or even better, click subscribe to stay in the know.